artillery fire was exchanged between the two Koreas earlier this Monday afternoon. In the midst of live fire drills, hundreds of North Korean artillery shells landed south of the inter-Korean maritime border. The South Korean military responded by firing back across the northern limit line, or the NLL. For details, let's go live to our correspondent Hwang Sung-hee at the Arirang News Center. So, Sung-hee, can you give us the details? Daniel, the exchange of fire between the two Koreas came to an end at about 3.30 p.m. Korea time, which was about three hours ago. It all began a little past noon on this Monday after North Korea began live fire drills in seven West Sea border regions north of the northern limit line. In an emergency press briefing held immediately after the North wrapped up the exercises, South Korea's defense ministry spokesperson said North Korea fired around 500 artillery shells in waters north North of the NLL. Some 100 of those shells uh, fell south of the NLL in South Korean waters near Pengyangdo Island. In response, the South Korean military shot around 300 artillery shells back across the border using K 9 self propelled howitzers. Uh, thousands of residents on South Korea's border islands were told to take cover in shelters. Pyongyang, however, says Monday's drills were part of its regular military exercises. Now, North Korea had notified South Korea of its plans to conduct live fire drills this morning, not giving a specific time for the planned exercise, but demanding that Seoul keep its vessels out of the training zone. Now, Sonny, um, how is the South Korean military now preparing for the event of another incident like such? Well, Hanyang, South Korea's defense ministry took the unusual warning from its neighbor this morning as a hostile threat. Now, this is the first time in recent history that the North has conducted a live fire drill in all seven West Sea border regions. It's also the first time it's informed the South of the exercises ahead of the time. Defense ministry spokesperson Kim Min Suk said the South Korean military will work closely with the United States and keep close watch for possible clashes. He added the South will react sternly if North Korea commits any provocative actions on South Korean land or waters. The South Korean military has activated crisis management operations and has deployed naval convoys near the NLL to cope with any contingencies. Officials in Seoul have been on high alert, and the Presidential National Security Council is expected to convene an emergency meeting later this evening. Now, guys, it is worth mentioning that this is not the first time the North has fired artillery shells this direction. In 2010, North Korea launched artillery strikes on a South Korean border island, killing four people. Well, thank you very much for your report, Sung-hee. That was our Hwang Sung-hee with the latest on North Korea's live fire drills.